लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन श्री मात्रे नम इन माई प्रीवियस फोर वीडियोज आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट परा पश्यंत मध्यम वैखरी रूप इच्छाशक्ति ज्ञान शक्ति क्रियाशक्ति शब्द ब्रह्म यूनिवर्सल का कॉस्मिक साउंड कॉस्मिक क्रिएटिव वाइब्रेशंस एंड द what it leads to i me and myself understanding as i was speaking about uh, the very human existence which we need to understand right now in the 21st century in this century what is happening is not all of us are uh, you know well aware of the fact that we are immortal in the sense like you know we neither exist but still exist and we have been existing this is one concept which which is very much related to again the uh, uh, the very uh, theory of uh, the science wherein it says uh, it talks about you know um, it more or less talks about atom neither created nor destroyed but it is there and when atom and sub atom come together that's when molecules are formed however the point over here is one needs to understand from the standpoint of uh, spirituality as well as the philosophical uh, you know uh, philosophical approach to the very human existence though due to the rat race or whatever it is whatever you say this we are not able to concentrate as an individual we ourselves are getting succumb to the situation however if i really go back to the medieval times or uh, you know when the human race existed when this human race existed uh, started existing rather when there was no colonization or you know you say anything that's when uh, things were falling in place but as the years and centuries passed by we uh, we tend to we tended to you know in fact be more vulnerable to all the you know uh, uh, external factors that were distracting the very uh, very definition of maintaining that harmonious harmonious nature in the society and that's where again the very concept of shabda brahman was realized we need to understand this you know as i really see not really every one of us are understanding this uh, shabda brahman concept or shabda at its uh, exact meaning with its real meaning and thanks again to the seers and uh, rishis munis philosophers who have uh, come in union and established a text called shastra initially and after that natya shastra 
wherein it was more or less talking in terms of very simple and short simple and short language to make sure every individual understands this concept this cryptic concept which has been existing that is one part of it and coming to the point of a uh, very concept of uh, cosmic creative vibrations or universal uh, cosmic sound in reference to bindu kala nada why they felt as i was explaining in my previous video the very definition of it let's go much further in understanding this uh, this universal cosmic sound and the cosmic creative vibration in reference to bindu kala nada and understanding of i me and myself the point is we have we as the human existence we had various you know factors and cofactors that were really you know disturbing uh, uh, disturbing the so called mind or some with element as vidyaranya swami explain now this some with concept again is very much related to understanding of shabda see most of us think these words or, uh, or whatever have that internal meaning and we need to understand we go, we should be understanding according to that and in fact that is what happens during the dance form when a dancer performs he or she tends to here to the lyrics lyrics again have shabda this is where the shabda bheda comes into picture and this creates vibrations now why these shabdas came into picture at first place this is again very much related to akara ukara ikara inkara and makara this is again pranav bija and pranav mantra which is nothing but omkara tattva which is existing in the universe practically speaking if you really see if we really see in a uh, from the yogic point of view or the yoga point of view or the sama yoga point of view here we are actually trying to get in confluence with space and time that is existing in whole of the universe as i said akhila anda koti brahma anda nayika brahma brahma again who created that anda so called earth which has to be understood again one may say is it only one uh, egg or the anda that he has created like this there are many in the universe that is the reason why i keep on telling it's multiverse and this human being is not the only one and only one who is 
existing there are many human beings yeah human individuals who are existing in this universe again division of gender i will speak about it much later let's try understanding this so called science of sound over here what really is that happens let me share my practical experiences which i have been doing for almost like close to 25 years now initially when i started i started it with uh, uh, a chanting of one mantra and then went on to read shlokas the i used to read those shlokas and i used to on a regular day to day basis getting up after taking bath doing the rituals sandhya vandana and all and then subsequently after doing that the moment i got to understand what is the real meaning of the shloka or whatever it is i started going through lalita sahasranama and then started reading various vedic scriptures like uh, viveka chudamani saundarya lahari by shankara now the point over here is over a period of time as the years passed by and days passed by i learned one thing whatever rituals that i am doing i am making it a point that i created one bindu that is so called godly existence in the form which is in the form at again one needs to understand this godly element that is existing is only one there is only one and only one god that is existing that is nothing but that bindu point and we try to create that categorization which we need to understand and this is what is existing in the multiverse which has billions and trillions of galaxies and this billions and trillions of galaxies is having one element called that godly element you don't know how far it goes because out of my 25 years of practice i'm still practicing i still see that uh, time travel so called kala which is again a part of nada bindu right i am putting that bindu taking that uh, godly element as a bindu point and i am trying to create those vibrations in my body that is called nadis and if i engulf if i take it as one single entity and one single concept that is the nada aspect of the human existence now one may ask why is this related to shastra or natya shastra in natya if you really see the dramatization of the character happens very new enact that character and try to show that this is what happens if you are doing it on a conscious at a conscious awareness level if you really see that divine incarnation or the divine incarnate that you are impersonating again goes back to that nodal point that is called bindu nada bindu and bindu that bindu if you are concentrating for 10 or 20 minutes or maybe whatever time that you are doing it and thus you are generating that kind of energy that is called shakti this is where that uh, uh, positive energy starts flowing from mooladhara to sahasrara as i was explaining in my previous video now thus if you really see this bindu 
is nothing but that form and both form and formless god that is existing in the universe now the point is we as insane we act insane i also used to act insane by not understanding this it's quite common the point is on a lighter note we think we are gods we are dummy gods we have all the powers but we don't know that whatever power that you are getting you are getting it by the getting connected to that shabda shabda wherein you are trying to understand that brahman brahman consciousness awareness or that samvit that chit i am using chit i am not using chitta chitta and chida are again the separate aspects and this is the spiritual aspect of understanding the natya from this view point and this is where that advaita dvaita vishishta advaita philosophy comes into picture one needs to understand this ladies and gentlemen and by the by i am still in the introduction of natya shastra but i am trying to explain why this emergence came into picture and how this human consciousness understands and how this human consciousness awareness works the schema the schema of the working the schema of the systematized approach of the thought process that happens practically now having said about universal cosmic sound and this cosmic creative vibration as i said that bindu which is more or less a form and formless god you are trying to get into that oneness you are trying to become that one by getting into that bindu so called god by imbibing those qualities and we the we say it shiva shakti parama ishvara parameshwara parameshwari what not whatever one needs to understand and this is where one needs to understand these are the factors at a conscious for the conscious awareness to happen and the moment you start getting in confluence with this meaning once you merge yourself as a single entity as an individual be it masculine feminine be it male female whatever whoever it is that's where the definition of i me and myself starts developing understand this ladies and gentlemen this is further of the yesterday's video on the part of shabda brahman and universal cosmic sound and cosmic creative vibration the take away from this video is the shabda brahman is nothing but akara ukara ikara imkara makara tatva that is nothing but omkara tatva which is again meditated upon by the individual which is existing in the universal cosmic cosmic uh, you know uh, cosmic uh, universal cosmos which is again at macro and micro level there are two levels macro and micro level so you pass through that and thus 
you get those vibrations that start happening deep within you our body is a constituent of both macro and microcosmos understand this and that is the reason why we have navagrahas and other planets that are there in our body and a dancer by default has that and this way is what actually what seers rishis and munis wanted to explain via shastra that was existing however it was named natya shastra from the view point of bindu that is uh, the focal or the nodal point which is form and formless god again and then kala in cross reference to space and time and then thus once you are getting culminated all of this 72000 nadi start vibrating and that's when the conscious awareness starts which is nothing but samvit bhava which is again chit understand this ladies and gentlemen let's end this topic over here i will go much further into this subject in my next video i will explain individually till such time stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead at the same time as a part of request if you like please do like the video click on the like button and if possible share the video if it is more informative to you and if it helps others to understand and if you can and the subscribe my channel so that that could help me to even make very a few more videos informative videos wherein you know it could be a kind of moral boost for me and at the same time i request for the viewers or the scholars or the viewers please if you have any kind of works related to transcriptional works or translational work or translation works or writing articles or if you need any kind of uh, uh, you know editing work related to videos or whatever it is and content writing as well on various topics please feel free to contact me my contact number is 9121379100 till then stay blessed have a blissful life may the guru's grace be with all as a part of note and disclaimer my views may be right may be wrong they are not conclusive statements they are just this is just my perception which i am trying to explain in case if anybody finds it wrong please do let me know through email which i have given have a nice day